Hey, how's it going? Today we're gonna go over how to draw a Mario flagpole. So that's the one that he kind of jumps on at the very end. Uh, I am gonna do that easily and simply. I hope that you can do this step by step with me. It's relatively easy, should be super, super simple. So let's kind of go over that. Uh, I'm gonna be using this marker. It's a Faber-Castell PITT artist pen and a big brush. Uh, I'm gonna put the link to that in the description if you do wanna buy that exact one, but you don't need to. Uh, it's pretty simple to do with a Sharpie um, or a magic marker even. So, um, well, magic marker, like a Crayola brand marker. But anyways, paper-wise, this is printing paper. You can get straight out of the printer, easy. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna throw a straight line over here for the pole. Just gonna go pretty slow, by the way, because just to kind of have some control over it. I'm gonna go over here on the other side and I'm gonna essentially draw a parallel line for the far side of that pole. That These two might be the hardest strokes in the whole thing because you wanna get two lines that are evenly all the way down. And I know that sometimes that can be kind of difficult uh, depending on your control. So kind of be aware of that. If you need to turn the paper sideways, right? in order to do that because it's more natural whether you're right-handed or left-handed you know left-handed you probably turn it that way but you know because because the natural sway of our arm is kind of like this if you need to turn it don't be afraid to do that you can totally do that let's put the ball at the top All right, and we're gonna draw a shortened version of this if we draw this exactly like uh you know, like just exactly like the way it looks like in the um, in the cartoon. I think that's gonna be um, a cartoon in the in the video game. I think it's gonna be way too long. So we're just gonna shorten it. We're gonna do a shortened version of it. I'm gonna draw a block at the bottom of it because I think that's um, easier to do. So I'm gonna draw a square, straight line across, and over here I'm gonna draw it down. down and right here you're essentially just drawing a square so right now let me tell you uh sorry let me just make a quick announcement uh definitely subscribe uh if you like drawing videos if you like drawing lessons i'm gonna be posting three lessons every single weekday so that's like about 15 videos a week uh, I'm gonna file. I'm already filing them as I do them into playlists so that they're easy to find. I'm gonna be drawing everything under the sun. If you enjoy this stuff, absolutely please subscribe. If you think my stuff is worth your time, subscribe, and they'll give you notifications for probably like 20% of the stuff I put out. Honestly, I guess if you print that, if you click that bell icon, it'll give you everything. Um, but yeah please consider doing that. It helps the channel out with an algorithm, uh, kind of, it just shows shows it to more people. And it's just all around better. Thank you so much if uh, if you do do that, thank you. Um, and if you can't, I understand. Okay, so let's go back to this block. The block, uh, because this is black and white, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna draw a line inward. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a thicker, essentially, line on this side of the block and a thicker line toward the bottom right here because there is some shadow to it, right? And the thing is that we're not going to draw like every single detail in that because we're not doing this in color. Um, and I don't want to draw the lines on the rest of that box. I guess we could. Let me see if we can do this. This marker is dying a little bit, but if you draw a smaller square inside of it, it'll give it the illusion of a polygon. And then draw a line coming from the outside of the square to the outside of that larger square. So this gives it the illusion that it is a 3D object. Um, and you know, within as much as we you know can, right, in marker. Um, so that, that block is on, it does have that texture on it. Hopefully you understood that. So essentially we're drawing a square and then an easy way would be draw that square in the middle, take 
the edges of the squares and make a line from one corner to this corner. So this corner to this corner, this corner to this corner, this corner to this corner. So now you have lines all out. And then fill in the bottom one and the right one. And you'll have like, an, uh, you'll have that kind of effect. All right, let's go to the actual flag. I'm gonna draw the Koopa one. I know they have different flags, but I'm gonna draw the Bowser one. Um, so it's basically a triangle. And remember, this is not to scale. So normally, if this is the real one, we just draw like the tiny thing at the top. This is not to scale. So we're doing kind of a modified version just for scale of our, you know, paper essentially. So you don't have to... Okay, so I'm doing this triangle here. And inside of it, I'm gonna be putting the Koopa, uh, the Bowser face essentially. Um, you could just indicate it because it is really small and intricate. You could indicate the Bowser shape. So I'm gonna be thinking about the horns. Let's simplify it down. The horns, which are real easy shapes. Maybe make like a heart shape under that. That's really what that's gonna indicate is his open mouth. And then I'm gonna draw kind of a curve shape at the top. I mean, really it's kind of hairs, but I'm gonna draw that curve shape. So we're indicating this. Indication meaning we're not going down to every single micro, micro detail. We're doing a, a modified impression of it. Uh, and so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill in this flag. Uh, at least the outside this shape. So you think something you have to remember, especially when you're drawing with a marker, um, when you're drawing with a marker, okay, so when you're drawing with a marker, you want to, um, remember that every mark line you have has a thickness. And when you fill in that, all of a sudden, all of a sudden that line disappears, um, becomes essentially lost. Um, and so it's it's so kind of keep that in mind that when you draw something like that that when you fill it up into its edge The lines it's all of a sudden it's gonna like the shape that you had inside that line is gonna seem smaller Okay, so I'm gonna indicate this by drawing three shapes inside this squishy right here for the eyes and then right here a big one big circle for the mouth and so that gives it the impression of that Bowser face in there. All right, that's pretty much it. I, I hope you enjoyed that. If you stuck around to the end, definitely say hi in the comments to me. I'll, that, and then I'll know. Uh, and you know, it's amazing. Uh, you're, you're great. Thank you so much. I, I, this channel is pretty much my life right now. And uh, yeah, I might, I might start making videos seven days a week. I, I haven't decided that yet. Right now I'm doing five days a week. Um, but it might turn to seven. I don't know yet. Thank you so much. I appreciate everything uh, this channel's done for me. And uh, yeah, it's amazing, guys. Let's get drawing on some easy pictures to draw. Thank you.